episode today. Today we're going to be talking about all the basic features on a DSLR camera. This is a beginner's guide to a DSLR camera. So if you ever wanted to know about how to use a camera without all the fancy settings, this is the video for you. Alright guys, let's get started. Today I'm going to show you a few features. I'm going to show you the um, auto mode and the creative auto mode. This is a beginner's guide to a DSLR, so no real technical features. I'm not going to go through manual, aperture, shutter, or any of these features. I'm just going to show you the basic features on this camera. Okay, so let's get started. To switch the camera on, there's an on and off button there, so you just essentially put it on. So there we go, so it's on. And on here, you've got all your settings. So I am currently in auto mode. So if you click on this Q button, Okay, so if you click on this Q button, it will show you your features. Now here, as you can see, there are certain features that you have available to you. Not many, to tell you the truth. You've got your file size, so you can have it a specific size that you want it at. So, and at the moment, I've got it on um, medium, so it's an 8 megapixel. Um, so it's not a massive file. And I've got another option of single shot photography. So it allows me to put a timer or it allows me to take a single shot, okay? That's basically it. Um, when I click on the shutter release, the, the it will automatically adjust the shutter and aperture in accordance to the environment that you are in. So you do not need to essentially change many features within this setting. The next one I'm gonna show you is Creative Auto. So I'm just gonna put it in Creative Auto. There you go, so I put that in Creative Auto. Now in here, if I go back to my menu, now what you see is a few more features. You've got this bar here. You've got um, your um, 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 image white balance. So now, if I click and move this around, so if I go to um, this little Q button, so click on that Q button, and then sort of hover through this, it allows me to change certain things. So I can click on this now, select that, and I can have a timer, or I can have a continuous burst mode shot. Okay, so there we go, continuous burst mode shot. So if you do sports photography, for example, and you don't want to really set, play around with the aperture and shutter, you can sort of go into this feature and change it there as well. This one allows you to change the exposure, um, allows to make you the background slightly darker and the foreground a little bit brighter. Um, and this one allows you to change the background, so you've got a little bit of depth of field. Um, so it's a bit of motion background blur and you can essentially just put your icons like this and it will allow you to change it. Okay, so basic settings, uh, that's about it really. So when you sort of select it, when you hold it, hold your release, shutter release, your, um, you can see clearly it changes the ISO and the shutter speed in accordance to the environment it's in. Your SD card is over, located over here. So if you just push that back, there's a little button here, just press that. It will snap open, and I'm, what I'm using in this camera is a Compact Flash uh, Class 10 SD card. The reason why I'm using one of these is because it records content onto your camera quicker. So, for example, if you're in location, you snap in loads of images. Um, this will capture the images much quicker, so it's worth purchasing a better quality SD card for your camera. I'm going to slot that back in. Be gentle when you put it in because you don't want to damage the camera. And just gently just push it back in, close that, push it in, and you're ready to go again. Um, below is your battery. So essentially, what you do here is you just push that through, and there's a little there's a little grey like a little white kind of icon. Just push that down, and your battery will come out. Be gentle with this. Okay, this is very sensitive. Uh, put it back in, and your your battery is nice and secure, and you're ready to go. Okay. You, you got, I've got a, a lens on here, so unfortunately my lens, I've, I've accidentally dropped it. Please don't do that, it's not a good idea. Um, you know, so I've got a, a standard 135mm lens, I'm not really talking about that. You've got a hot shoe here, so you can put your cam, your um, your flash on there. Um, and sort of have a bit of extra lighting if you're shooting uh, photography, maybe in a studio internal environment. Okay, so basic features, beginner's guide, nothing too sort of complicated. All I've done is I've showed you guys creative and auto modes, the SD card, the compact flash card goes there, the battery, possibly the way to hold it as well, put it around your hand like this, so you don't drop the camera, okay, 
and then you're ready to shoot. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Any questions, please do post. I do like to make these videos just to give you a bit of knowledge. Um, you know, any questions, please do post. Thanks for watching everybody around the world. Um, I hope you guys are all well. And please keep sort of, um, you know, watching my videos. I appreciate all the support that you guys are giving. Thanks for watching guys. See you for the next one.